What's going on everybody? Welcome to Gmaya's World. And today we're going to be talking about something that was removed that I don't really hear a lot of these dudes that are raging about how bad Madden 20 is going to be. You know, you know what's interesting about Madden 20, bro? Like, that a lot of people just don't appreciate? The warp tackles are gone. Now look, remember, you can dive and make a tackle, but it's more realistic. Let me, let me, just, let me just try to give you guys a gist of what's going on. Not only have they added seamless movement of the quarterback, but if you get out in front, a dude that's a fat lineman that always tackles you in 19 is no longer going to be able to do that. Now, that was tested in franchise and head-to-head. -head. And every time I got out in front, dudes were diving, trying to warp tackle, and it was realistic. They took it away. Thank God, bro. That was one of the most disgusting things ever. Now, remember, I just want to point this out because look, I also understand what you guys are saying. You go, oh, bro, they're going to patch the game. It's going to get wild. And I'm telling you guys right now, if they try to do that to me again, bro, and patch the game and make it wild, I am going to be all over everything that's going on. I can promise you guys that. I am not dealing with that foolishness. I'm just telling you guys that straight up right now. Okay, listen, because remember, Madden 16 at launch, I don't know how many of you guys played Madden 16 at launch, but Rashad Perriman was a nightmare on Elm Street, right? But he was what he was supposed to be. He had a 97 speed at launch, and he outran people. And so many people were crying tears, dog. They were crying, oh my God, EA, why is he so fast? What is going on? So what did EA do? And remember, as far as that goes with the crying and all the tears, that was pro players and bums alike, all right? It was all over Twitter, Reddit, everywhere. The bums and pro players were complaining about how fast Perriman was. And that was the biggest mistake that was made because after the patch came out, warp tackle and sliding into your DMs, like when you had a guy beat by like 10 yards, they would let the guy automatically slide into you. All of that was created because of people crying and like I said, I'm not only blaming the bums, because I read for myself a lot of dudes that called themselves pros that were crying about how fast Brashad Perriman was, not realizing that the dude is a 97 speed. He's supposed to do that. So another thing, which is why I'm talking to you guys about Aaron Donald, because that's what it reminds me of. Everybody, when I was going through like the forums, and the forums are still available by the way guys, EA.com, EA and then you go to like the feedback, you can read some of the things and look at the look at the uh, the comments that were like up like, like that's all the way at the top. A lot of them, well most, are based on people that like, they, they're crying about the pressure, but they're not doing anything to stop the pressure. They just want to come out, hike the ball, and be able to do whatever they want. And again, that's the kind of mindset that I believe that EA had in the past that I think that they're kind of going away from. I don't think in Madden 20 that you're gonna get that if they keep it the way that it is. Now remember, I already said this. I don't care if it's a pro player or an average Joe. If you're crying about the same thing, you guys are both bums. It doesn't really matter. Because remember this, right? A lot of the stuff that came out that was patched and things of that nature, that was caused by a lot of people that are current pro, uh, pro players right now. So it, it doesn't really matter. And that's what people don't realize. You guys don't sit back and look and see exactly what's happening, you know, what's going on and what's happening before you guys speak. Because the warp tackle was non-existent prior to that, the uh, Madden 16 patch, and sliding into players and all that foolishness. That's something that was created to slow down the realism of what it was. Because the one thing that all of us know, speed kills. So if you can't run, if Rashard Perriman is realistically the fastest player in the game at launch, and in Mutt, you put him in, and there's a corner that has like a 90 speed, and he has a 97, guess what happens after he gets past that corner? He should be able to continue to run faster than him. That's what the point is of speed. So these are the things that I wanted to make sure that you guys understand. When I played the beta, I threw a slant route with Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas is not that fast. And he was able to outrun the corner behind him because we had a five-yard head start. And I, I, I was just sitting here like, yeah, okay, go ahead, warp tap me, bro. I was saying to myself, warp tackle me, hit my mom's up, do her, and drop her off up the block. I was just saying everything negative, you know what I'm saying? And he was never caught. He was absolutely never caught. 
So that, I was like, hold on, wait a minute, is this real? No, l- let me try this again. So I came out and then I forgot what I did. I think I, I ran the ball, I ran a dive play, all right? And uh, Alba Kamara, which I've spoken about several times, you know, his X Factor is satellite. He's very, very slippery. I call him the greased up deaf guy from Family Guy. This is the situation, right? It's very, very interesting that when he, like, like he actually feels like Alvin Kamara looks when you watch him play. You know, like how when he when he does like a couple moves or whatever, because he's very, very good with the juke. Don't try to stiff arm with him though. Stiff arm, save that for like Todd Gurley. But if you juke somebody like in the middle of the plane, and like the linemen are like, you know, you see like how I pause this right here. You see the linemen visibly; they are engaged with blocks. You can cut through that and not make contact like you could in 19, right? So look, after you get up that that segment, the corners that are being blocked by your wide receivers or your tight end or whatever, and the safeties, you can now maneuver up through the field. Once you get past those players, they are not tackling you, bro. They are, yo, I don't, I don't really know how to explain. See, this is why like a lot of the guys that are writing comments like, yo, bro, same thing, Band-Aid, all this stuff is the same exact game. I can't really acknowledge your existence because I have been one of the most frustrated Madden 19 players out of a lot of people that have done it. Like it doesn't really, I've been brutally honest about the game. I've, I've spoken about it. I've shown some of the major flaws and a lot of the things that I've been raging about, you can find it on a lot of different compilations throughout YouTube. Uh, they fixed it. Now I'm not taking any credit for it. I don't really care why it was fixed. I just like that it's out of the game. All of the things that they were doing with the warp tackling and if a guy was in a cloud flat, he would just be like making a guy wiggle his butt cheeks and he'll never run by him. That didn't happen to me once. Now, if they fine tune the game, guys, just just hear me out. If they fine tune it and they adjust it and I see any of that, day one, I will point it out to you. But as far as the beta goes, if that's the way that they keep the game, why is everybody complaining? It, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, do you realize that now when you when you make a play, if you get a if you get a if get the right play done and you get out in front for whatever reason, a dude is not diving from 30 yards anymore. Now remember, there are tall this is this is the catch 22 though. There are tall, obviously taller players, taller defenders, everything like that. There were dudes that were able to like tackle me before I got out in front by diving. But the diving distance is a lot better. Like, it's not like the way that it was in 19. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's realistic. Like, if you reach out for somebody and you can grab them, that's how it is now in Madden. So, with the way that this is, you see like how he pump fakes this guy and he throws that dot? As he goes, as that play would progress, if he's able to do a quick juke and get by that other player, it's going to be a touchdown. It's no way possible. It is just, like, it feels like the NFL on Sunday, bro. Like, it really just does. When you get out in front, like with these fake plays or whatever like that, when this guy hits this juke right here, if that guy doesn't make that tackle and he's able to juke the other guy, you no longer have to worry about, oh my God, this guy just tackled me from 55,000 yards away. Yeah, dude, like, bruh, all of that stuff is over. So I can understand that a lot of people are still like, yo, bro, I'm not sold. This is crazy. I don't care no more, bro. Yo, like this game is, this game is trash. I Listen. Those same exact players are the dudes that came out running cover for a drop and was running wham every play. All those guys that are saying that right now, th- that's what their offense was. You see what I'm saying? And they walk around in SpongeBob G-strings with their name on the orange juice. Because I'm telling you right now, it is no way possible that you could have played the beta and you come and leave a comment on any of these videos and say that it's the same game. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make any sense. And you know what's interesting about it? With everything that's going on, it's the same type of complaints and it's the same type of um, reasoning that changed Madden in the first place. And that's what's so scary about it. Because if for any reason they take into consideration any of this feedback that these people are saying, we can revert back to where we started. And then remember, once they patch the game and it's bad and they bring back all the other garbage, it's very, very rare that they can fix it. So that's what I'm so nervous about, just like you guys are. Because like, based on what I seen, I loved it. But again, I'm very, very nervous, just like you got, bro, if they decide to say, you know what? Yo, this guy made a good, you know, he made a good, um, you know, he gave good feedback. He wants the warp tackle back. You know, let's just say that they do that for whatever reason. 
bruh, this game is gonna be hot dookie fast, okay? Because a lot of the stuff is all based on that, being able to make plays and the differences within 20 and what it is. So that's what I ultimately want you guys to understand. All of these things, these new additions, you gotta give it a chance. Give it a chance to see what it does before you're so quick to jump on the bandwagon of everybody else saying it's the same exact game because it really just is not. And I can't stress that enough. And I want you guys to, to do me a favor as well. I would like for you guys to do me a favor as well. Come back and see me during launch day if you're hating and you disagree with what I'm saying and tell me how you feel then. And if everything is the same, we could all go ahead and agree to disagree. Until next time, one love.